All right, just a quick update. Um, today is ferociously hot, 39 degrees Celsius. That's uh, 102 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, I've been so busy with the leaves. As the color cure, you have to pay very close attention. And they have to be changed twice a day. So the piles shuffled around. Any newspaper between the leaves has to be removed and changed for fresh because they get quite wet and, and damp and that promotes mold if you're not careful. But um, so I've been a bit swamped with my leaves and now just looking at my plants, I've noticed so many suckers. Okay, this thing is gonna flower soon, so better get rid of that. But look at this, that's a sucker, that's a sucker, that's a sucker. There's a sucker in there. There's a sucker in there, another one in there. Plants are just riddled with suckers. All that down there, suckers. There's one. The whole top part's a sucker, basically. Lots of ones down there. And this one is my Habana 2000, the best, the best of that lot, which is why the seed was bagged for this one. This entire side shoot is a sucker. I mean, that shoots as thick as my thumb. I'm tempted to actually leave it. It's making some nice leaves. Uh, and these leaves at the top will be Lijero. This is the thickest and strongest and tastiest of the leaves, so why not? I'll just get rid of these smaller, these little things along the side. We don't need them. It's just suckers everywhere you look. Suckers. Toto, it's all your fault. Why didn't you warn me there were suckers? Hmm. You must tell me these things in time, cat. Little Dutch doesn't really make that much. No, there are a few suckers. They're just harder to see because the plants are a bit lower than the rest. And the reason why they are under shade cloth and not the rest is they are a little bit more sensitive to the sun. I had some sun scald a while back on some of the leaves and putting the shade cloth back over this little section because they are quite short, so they're not quite reaching it. That has definitely done the trick. The leaves are now in good shape. So uh, yeah, true to their name, Little Dutch. They don't get that big, I guess. Still so much to harvest. I have barely begun. This process seems to be never ending. Um, about twice a day I go through all the leaves. What I'm doing is I'm using dry newspaper, stacking the leaves. Uh, in between the newspaper. Uh, as you can see, they're, they're changing very nicely. The midribs are still very wet. There's still quite a lot of moisture in this leaf that has to come out. So let's just stack that newspaper on there. So if you're thinking of doing this process in this way, do yourself a favor and get a massive stockpile of newspaper before you even start. I've constantly been running off the shops to buy more newspapers because I keep running out. Um, this is some of the lower leaves. This is Havana, and you can see it's paper thin. It really is very thin. So good for combustion, but not really flavor-wise. Uh, it'll fit in the blend somewhere. If you make an entire cigar out of that, it's gonna be, well, it's not gonna be very exciting. But I'm reusing newspaper. So the damp ones, I just chuck in the pile. Let it dry out, reuse it. And so the process carries on, but changes are, the change is very nice. I love these yellow colors. Some of these leaves are absolutely beautiful. Got a beautiful yellow color before they turn brown. Um, I've got some nice examples around here. Let me show you. Okay, I'm just very cluttered. Look at that, beautiful. And this is like, this is a much thicker leaf and it's, it's, uh, it's like thin leather, absolutely beautiful. I love it. So I'm hoping, okay, this is still the color curing stage, the very first stage, just changing the leaf from green to brown, the yellow stages in between. You can see there's still some green in that leaf. It's slowly bleeding out, turning yellow, and then finally going to brown. And then the kilning process, and I'm hoping that the kilning process will give this a lovely oily sheen to it, and you could use this for wrapper, for example, you can just see it's it's going to be a gorgeous color, 
and it's, it's a very smooth leaf as well. It's not particularly toothy, so I think it'll make a very nice smooth wrapper. This is the Havana 142. Uh, some of the Habano leaves will also make a very nice wrapper. So there we go, just a quick little update to show you where I am in the process. It is a very lengthy, busy process indeed. I have to do this twice a day. If I don't, you end up with bits of mold appearing on the leaves. And you can see this one is completely mold free. So as long as I do it twice a day, the mold just doesn't appear. The moisture gets sucked out, wicked out into the newspapers and yeah, it's just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Hello.